Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is August 8th. Uh, it is a Monday. It has been a crazy Monday, a busy Monday so far, and it's only 1 p.m. Eastern. Listen, today's show, I want to talk to you about how to increase your conversion rate on Fiverr. This is an extremely important process, uh, knowledge for you to have, especially when you're trying to grow your voiceover business on Fiverr and you need to get a little bit of a leg up and why, you know, to, co to convert people who you are getting to find you, to click on you, and then hopefully buy from you. So we're going to talk about that today really quick. I'm super excited to mention that we are bringing back our special half off our first month for VO's Journey Elite Academy. Check out that link below. We're super excited. We have live classes. We've got the conference. We've launched our audiobook production company where we hire voice actors within the academy. We have monthly contests, all kinds of wonderful things, and, and, and an incredible community for you to uh, start and grow your voiceover business. So check out that below. We'd love to have you be a part of our academy. All right, so diving into this topic today, the question is how do you increase your conversion rates on Fiverr? So first off, three things always to remember when you're dealing with Fiverr or anything online. But there's three main topics that you need to cover whenever you're analyzing or reviewing someone's work. The first thing is, can you be found? Okay, that's the very first thing. You have to be able to be found before anything else happens. In an online world, Fiverr included, the algorithm, your keywords, your title, your description, your um, tag, all your tags, all of these things matter immensely in order for you to be found. Once you are found by someone typing in, you know, male voiceover, once you're found, then the second part is you need to be enticing enough for them to click on you. You've got to spend time and or money on your thumbnails to make sure they are the best that they possibly can be. People will not click on them. You know, it's a funny thing. Same thing with YouTube. You know, if you look at uh, thumbnails, again, is getting people to stop and click. It, it's so vital Yes, the information is important. Yes, our voiceovers would be the most important thing. But if we can't get someone to stop and click on us, they will never listen to our demo, and then we're never going to get that conversion. Now, the third part to this is we have to be inspiring enough for them to buy from us or to convert that click, that impression. I use the word inspiring because I believe that we have to inspire our potential clients to want to work with us more than they want to work with other people. On Fiverr and everywhere, we live in an age that voice actors are not hard to find. There are voice actors everywhere. You type in voice actor and millions of search results come up platforms with hundreds of thousands of voice actors ready to help you in 12 hours or less, Some, in some cases, two hours or one hour or less. It is not difficult these days to find a voice actor at all. So because of that, we have got to inspire people to want to work with us. Now, here are some things. First and foremost, you need to look professional. Whatever that means, whether it's a brand look, whether it's a collared shirt or a button-up shirt that I'm, I'm just using to look a little bit more professional than my, you know, sloppy t-shirt that I use just working around the house or something, right? It's important that we look professional because when people hire us, they want to know they're getting a top-notch product and perception is important. So looking professional on Fiverr, for example, we've talked about how important your thumbnail is, a high quality professional looking thumbnail, right? That's not overloaded with words and all kinds of stuff that focuses on you and what that gig actually is, not 
how long you've been in the business, not, you know, what you believe in, all this stuff. That's for the other parts. When we get into your gig, now it's important for your description to really bring me in. Bring me in. Tell me a little bit about you and then why you are going to help me. Don't forget, conversion really happens when someone believes, you know, that you are going to be the best fit for them. Not that they are the best fit for you. So remember that you are the best fit for them. All right. And in looking at the description, there's always three things that people are looking for online. The first thing is going to be they want a high quality voiceover, right? A high quality file. So not just, you know, they want acting. Okay. They, they want, they want it, all of it to be quality, including your audio. The second thing is, right? They want to have someone who's easy to work with. Something that's extremely easy to work with, good like communication, they're friendly. We want someone who's easy to work with. And the third thing is, is we want great communication. All right? Did I just say that? I think I did. Communicate. Oh, uh, sorry. That was the second one. The third one is they want fast delivery. That's the reality. Everything is fast. Your job and to convert more is to address these problems Okay, and try your very best with your copy, with your presentation on your gig to alleviate those worries that the client might have for working with you. Because there is such a lack of or such a um, not a lack, excuse me, of voice actors, we have to realize that there is a whole bunch of people right behind us that are just as good, possibly better than us. So that means when we get that impression, that click, those eyeballs, we've got to make them count. So pay close attention to your description. Pay close attention to your FAQs. How well are they helping? Are they really answering questions or are they just something you think someone might answer? Like, have you done any research? Okay, what about are you explaining what you're offering on your gig and your FAQs? That's what I always like. Do you have all five tags showing? You know, these, these, you know, um, these things are really important. A lot of times you might not have all five of your tags because fivers uh, deem them redundant and they don't show all of them. Check that. Check your stuff in an incognito window. These things all go towards your conversion rate. But in the end, all of that being said, if you are not converting, you've got to look at those things. You've got to look at your demo. Okay? Is your demo inspiring people to buy from you? Like, is it hooking them? Do you have your very best spot in the beginning of your demo? Is your copy making me feel comfortable, making me feel invited and, and that I want to work with you? That you actually want to work with me. I've seen so much copy where people are like, I don't do this. I don't do that. Don't contact me for this. I won't do that. That's fine. It's good to have boundaries. But at the same time, you know, at least pretend you want to work with people. You know what I mean? Um, when I scroll down to your extras, your FAQs, your profile description, all of these, d does it look like you've cared enough to fill them out? Because remember, if you are telling me that you are going to care enough about my job that I'm trying to hire you for, I expect to see that you care enough at least to fill out everything in case I have questions or concerns, right? Also, here's another thing. Reviews. Are you responding to, to your reviews? I see this all the time. If you've worked on Fiverr, then when you get uh, when you deliver a job and the client leaves you a review... You are asked by Fiverr to review to you to respond twice. The first time, the first response is not on your gig; it's on their profile, and then it'll pop up a second time to place a response on your profile. This is really important. Make sure you respond. Make sure you respond and respond with kindness. Respond with excitement. Why? Because you are trying to create an atmosphere of excitement around people working with you. And your responses matter. Don't respond just to the negative ones. We're all going to get negative ones from here or there. Respond to all of them. All right. And if you do get a negative review, please, for the love of Pete, 
respond in kindness. Let them know, thank you so much. Sorry for the confusion. Uh, I look forward to working with you next time. That's all you need to say, no matter how mean they are. Because remember, it doesn't affect them. It affects your business. So your response can make a massive difference. Whether someone's like, well, what if I make a mistake or I screw up? Are they going to treat me that way? Do you see what I mean? Um, people, that's how people think. They don't. Pe- we know other people complain and 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 cause issues online, but how we respond to it, that's what really matters, and that's what clients are looking at. All right. So, because because for here, I mean, like this is oh, this is so important. If you read reviews, and someone has a has left a bad review, and then there is a response from the owner or the CEO or the the company saying thank you so much. You know, we're sorry for the misunderstanding, the confusion. We're looking forward to working with you again so that we can, you know, make sure this doesn't happen a second time. You know, I, I feel better because I, I know that we everybody makes mistakes. I know it might not even be their fault. You know, I know that. But but it's how you deal with it tells me what kind of company or business or person you are. So just remember that. Listen, all of these things total. So we bring it home. Go to your conversion rate for your Fiverr gig, for anything, but especially with Fiverr, all of these things. And one more one more bonus tip here. Ask for the sale. Please ask for the sale. I see this so many times everywhere, everywhere, any business. People simply don't ask. Hey, buy from me. Go ahead and buy from me. At the bottom of your description, please, please put in there, I'm excited to work with you. Buy now. But tell them to buy. Ask them to buy. Buy now. Go ahead and hit that green button and buy now. Okay, right? Because if you're looking at your description on your screen, the green button is over to your right. Okay, say buy now. Ask them. Give them a call to action. Don't ask them to, to send you questions. You know, you, you can, but if you find that you're getting way more questions than you are just outright purchases, it's probably because you're asking for questions, not purchases, or something's a little more confusing. But ask them to buy now. All right, I hope that this video was really helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell notification, and also don't forget to check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We have such a wonderful and, and supportive community. I promise you it is worth its weight in gold. Love to have you. Check out the link below. Again, best of luck on your conversion rates. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.